What is going on, people of YouTube? My name is Curtio, and welcome back to the final episode, episode 4 of my Fantasy Premier League football series. Now, we've done the goalkeepers, we've done the defenders, we've done the midfielders. Click on De Gea for the goalkeepers, Koscielny for the defenders, and Henderson for the midfielders. Now, we need to do the strikers. None of these three, surprisingly, are going to be in my team. Just because Soldado was poor, Remy, not sure what club he's going to go to, it's not sure what kind of football he's going to be playing. Lambert, he's moved to um, Liverpool to end out his career, he's not going to be their main goal scoring forward. Now straight away, someone who I need straight away is Lukaku, quite simply because last season he was brilliant, Everton have moved well in the transfer period and the brilliant players I think, um, I don't know if it was Tadic they brought in or not, but they've brought in some good players. They've Brought him in permanently and Barry in permanently. They've kept the, like quite a big, like strong, like backbone of the team together. And now I'm looking at this and thinking Lukaku will do again the job he did last season. Get goals, maybe even get a few more goals than last season because of the way they've moved in the transfer period. Second of all, I'm going to go for a striker. That I think most people would have turned a blind eye on. And that is Connor Wickham. He's the most exp expensive striker for Sunderland, and the fact that 2.2% people have picked him shows that not everyone's picking up on how much of a steal he could be. For 6 million, he got 58 points last season. With that 6 million, you could have, um, well, if we go back onto forwards, you could have gone and got someone, let's say, like Soldado, personally. But that leaves you 9.5 instead of 11.5. And with 11.5, you can get Sturridge, Rooney, Diego, Costa. Costa, I wouldn't get because of the way Chelsea's strikers are performing. So I don't think it's worth the risk. I mean, seeing he's got no history. I think Sturridge. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether he will be um, a good choice or not. Because um, the cannibals left. But one player I'm going to have is Rooney, just for the fact he can score, but he can also assist. Look at that, 17 goals, 12 assists, and, well, 10 clean sheets when he's playing, whether that matters. But, um, what's this? Bonus point system. Don't know what that means. Um, really don't know what that means, so I'm just going to leave that. But, that's the front three I've got. This means, however, I've got 1 million left, so... This has predominantly been a forward sort of episode, but I'm going to try and see if I can get anyone better in positions. One thing I want to look at straight away is defenders, because my front four is pretty strong, I'd say, but one weak link is Jones, and I've got 6.5, and I believe I've only got two Chelsea players, so I might stick in John Terry. For him, the only problem that leaves me with is who do I leave out? It's <laughs> I might that has really left me with a few um, a few questions. I might stick with Phil Jones in there for now, but I want to look at the midfield. One million, I get rid of. I could have let's say seven million or six point five. So I'm. Um, um, maximum price of seven, put it like that. So we've got those people. This is the people we could get. If we get rid of Matic and Shelby, it's 6.5. Punch and Henderson it is seven. And looking at the sevens, I'm not feeling any. The only one I'm feeling is taking a, a risk with Barkley. And I feel like if I was going to take a risk with Barkley, Punch and would go out, and I would put Barkley in. But again, that leaves me with problems. Oh, he's already, he was one in my team already. Because I don't know, I won't know who to leave out or not. But that is the team I'm going to go with. It's got a nice balance, and I feel like if all plays well, this could be a team to watch. I'm not saying with this video, go and pick this team. But what I am saying is just look at the steals, look at the market. Because, like I say, if Wickham blows up, his price will be so much more. 
than what he is, and people have missed out on him. Like last season, I was one of the few, or one of them, well, I say one of the few, one of the like 98% of people that didn't pick Ramsey. Suddenly he flies in all these goals, his price rockets up because he has an amazing season, and he's 9 million now. Now you look at him, he's one of the most expensive midfielders. He's on par with Silva, Ozil, Matzo, and Fabregas. As well as Walcott and Gerrard, too. He's more expensive than people like Nazari, Cazorna, Willian, Coutinho, Lamella, Eriksson. You know, it's it's insane. So I feel like he's worth getting, and also Henson for 6 million as well. Absolute steal, again. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Leave any comments down below on who you've picked, who you would have changed in this team. Maybe make a little comment on like um, how to change the teams, maybe where I've gone wrong, where I've gone right, and try and say what you would have done differently. Also, like I said, I already put it in the start of the episode, so skip back there and you can see the defending, the building, and the... I've done that wrong, the goalkeeping, defending and the midfielding episode, and today is the striker episode. But Nevertheless, thank you guys for watching, I hope that this is going to be a decent video for you to watch, it gives you pointers if you're getting stuck, and as always, happy player hunting.